I'm glad you took the time to watch this video to become educated on one of America's minority demographics. I speak from personal experience. That's right, I'm coming out. I'm a millionaire with a net worth of 6,004,072. I expect this video to get a lot of criticism because of the stigma against rich people in America. There are so many rich phobes in this country. At least I live in the United States, which has been hard at work protecting the rights of the rich. Right now, I'm a millionaire, but I realize I was born into the wrong family. I'm not supposed to be just a millionaire, I'm supposed to be a billionaire. That also means having a yacht, a private jet, a private island, and a space rocket in case I feel like spending $5.5 billion on an 11 minute space ride. Thankfully, the government is backing me up with tax dollars to fund my class affirming treatment. We're talking tax breaks, looser trade regulation, lowering the minimum wage, and as a final backup, government bailouts. I am so glad the government is showing me that I don't have greed dysphoria. That there, what I just talked about, is something a lot of people criticize me about. And I keep telling them about the mental damage it's doing to me. It really makes me mad when people expect me to put up with their ideas that are contradictory to my values. It has caused me so much mental turmoil, which is why I'm making plans to lobby the government to silence my opposition. I demand people stop using microaggression terms like swindler and privilege to describe me, and instead use less derogatory terms like entrepreneur and job creator. Society needs to realize I have a right not to be offended, even if that means going against their religious values. Speaking of religion, Christians are a serious threat. They want rich people like me to be fair in business practices and to use our wealth to help others. Here's something to think about. My money, my choice. The last time I checked, America's aim is to maximize personal freedom instead of doing the right thing. So, in pursuit of freedom, I'd rather use my money to compete. If a trans man can compete in women's sports, it's fair for billionaires to compete with small businesses. And if you disagree, let me ask you, how do you know the difference between a billionaire and someone in poverty? Do you have a PhD in economics? Yeah, I didn't think so. The truth is, there's no difference between billionaires and small business owners. We're on level playing fields, down to the same stock value, same public exposure, same tax rates, and same income. And even if there is someone who majored in economics and disagrees with what I just said, they should have their economics PhD revoked. That way, I've set up a system where only people whose input is deemed valid are those who already agree with my desired conclusion. People tell me it's wrong to do loan shark practices against desperate people, but what they don't realize is those aren't really people. You're not a person until you have a net worth of at least 6,004,072. Don't ask me why I picked that seemingly arbitrary number. Consider fetuses. They can't survive without their mom, and they're siphoning off nutrients from the mom, meaning they're parasites. Meanwhile, poverty folks can't survive without slurping off money from the rich. And if you still disagree, realize that most people have never been in my circumstance. They don't know what it's like to have so many expenses to cover. I have a business to manage, which includes the baggage of marketing, being patient with customers, monitoring supply chains, and more. If they were in my shoes, they would do the same thing, and that means it's okay. So yeah, I'm proud to be a millionaire. Going forward, I hope America pushes the school toward indoctrinating the young children into supporting the top 1%. And I think if the students are showing signs of entrepreneurial skill, we should encourage them to get into more shady business deals, because those make more money. Surely this will not backfire.